Hi, I'm Sarah. We're going to have a quick look at how to use our new feature time entry states to assign custom statuses, or entry states as we call them, to time entries. They make it much easier to review and approve your employees' timesheets right within Timely. Admins can create their own custom entry states to fit their workflow, and you can see the status of time entries at a glance. So let's get to it. First of all, we're going to be looking at how to create, edit, and delete custom time entry states. So head to Settings and up here on the top click states. You'll see three pre-built states, which you can use, edit, or even delete. You'll also see two system states, logged and invoiced, which you can't delete or remove them. To create a new custom time entry state, head over to create new, and up here write the what you want it to be, admin approved, for example. Here you can choose the color. I'm gonna go with pink, because I like pink. Under the permission section, you'll be able to customize which users in your workspace can assign time entries to this particular state. Because it's admin approved, I just want it to be admin. But just keep in mind that admins, admin level users will always have full access to all the time states within the workspace. So next up, you'll want to be looking at attributes. This should be marked as build or locked. This is useful if you have completed invoicing for a particular set of hours and wish to use these states to indicate as such to prevent further editing. So I'm going to go ahead and click build. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click create. And there you'll see your new custom time entry state. Next, if you want to edit it, really simple, just head over to edit and it's just the, the exact same pop-up as before. So if you want to change the color, who has the permissions or whatever. And then once that's changed, I'm just going to change it to blue. Click save and that is now changed. So finally, if you want to remove a custom time entry state that you've created, uh, you just head over to edit again. And at the bottom right here, it says delete. So uh, I'm going to click delete. And that's deleted. And that is how you create, edit, and delete time entry states. Be sure to check out the second part of time entry states to show how to assign time entries to custom time states. Thank you, bye.